Hello War Thunder fans and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be talking about the T-34-85 Guy. One of my favourite tanks, especially as I'm a Chinese main. I know it's odd, however, I quite like them. So, we'll get into it now. So, the T-34-85 Guy is a fairly round-rounded tank. It has relatively poor armour for its BR, depending on what you're facing. But it does have high speed, so you should play it more like a light tank rather than a medium. The gun is pretty good at its BR, uh, it can penetrate most things, especially like M18s and most Shermans. However, it's better at flanking and going for side shots, especially on stuff like Tigers and Panthers. Talking about Tigers and Panthers, uh, during frontal engagements against Tiger 1s, should go for the flat portion of the hull, trying to avoid the driver's hatch to try and get that kill. Panthers should be shot in the turrets uh, or possibly the lower glacier. And uh, non-jumbo Shermans can generally shot anywhere. Tiger 2P is only vulnerable in a small portion of the turret cheek, so it's a bit harder. The Tiger 2H is basically immune at the front, which is a bit terrible. But, you know, it is a major up tier if you're facing those kind of tanks. So, you should also be careful of M4 A376Ws, jumbos, and T25s, as they have stabilisers and can often shoot first if they see you. Just keep an eye out in general, it should be okay, the gun's pretty good for its BR, but try and focus on flanking. In arcade battles, you should play it like any other T-34-85, push because you have a pretty well rounded tank, however you need to be careful because the meta generally favours heavier tanks as you can be seen, it makes f uh, flanking and ambushing more hard, however play carefully and you should be okay, take advantage of your high mobility. Realistic battles, you should play this tank quite offensively, use your speed to keep up with teammates, stick with like IS-2s or Tigers if they're on your team, or you could go for long flanks, you should be facing M18s and R3s on the long flanks, uh, which the main gun is easily able to kill both of those, and the Dushka on top, so you should be able to kill both of those light tanks and anti-air respectively. Against the aircraft, the Dusk is okay, however, it has not much ammo in it, so it's going to be hard. So some pros and cons. So the pro, it has a top-mounted Dushka, very useful against light tanks and some aircraft, depending. Really good gun for its BR and really good reload. It has great mobility and quite good top speed. It's got five-man crew for decent survivability. It's very really similar to the T-34 85s of Russia and T-34 in general, the whole family is pretty similar. So it's rather beginner friendly and if you played Russian tech tree you'll easily know this tank. It's got really good turret traverse and easily deals with targets from multiple directions. And if you angle it right, the arm is okay, it's not the best but it's okay. So cons. Again, the armour is a con on it, really is. You know, you can be front penned by fucking Americans, 76s, and German 75s, as well as 88 mils. You may have issues against uh, Tiger 2s when up tiered, and even other tanks, depending on the up tier, especially American heavy tanks that they are. Uh, it's fairly tall, making it quite obvious to stick out. And it's a machine gun, the Dushka, has very limited ammo. All in all, I reckon it's a really good tank and I really enjoy it. And you should really give it a go if you can. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.